Well, hey guys, good morning. Brent Abel, webtennis.com, back here with you with the answer segment to this week's episode of What's the Right Shot? Fred Robinson receiving serve, Danny Waldman serving. And again, this is the men's finals from the recent 2015 Crable Capital. $25,000 men's 60s invitational hosted at the Mission Hills uh, uh, Country Club, Rancho Mirage, California. And uh, I'm going to slow-mo this thing all the way until where we stopped it. And then uh, let me freeze it again. And uh, and then just, you know, kind of go through all the different comments about what shot uh, you would play if you were Fred. And, you know, again, you got to take into consideration that this is a grass tennis court. Balls stay down lower. They do not bounce as high. I mean, look at that one. That one's barely off the top of the grass. Now, some of you said right here, why did Fred hesitate? I mean, right now he doesn't know if Dan's going to be able to get this ball because he's lobbing it over He's lobbing it over Dan's overhead as opposed to this side, which would be Dan's backhand. So there's naturally some hesitation here just to ensure that that ball gets, gets back. Now, at this point, you know, again, Fred's not sure uh, – if, if this ball is going to check up and allow Dan sort of a, a ball, he can really kind of put the brakes on and drive. And now he sees Danny still moving backwards, and that's when he makes his decision to come in. So what we did is we stopped the video right where the ball was bouncing right here. And I asked you if you're the great Fred Robinson, and I do mean great, uh, what shot would you play? So, you know, we had all kinds of choices from, you know, let's just take it up the line, deep up the line, because it looks like Dan is now starting to move in. But, you know, I'm telling you, Fred doesn't know that. Fred's looking here. Fred's looking down at the ball. Uh, the only reason he would think that Dan's moving in is because, you know, he's shown drop shots prior to this point in the match. But a lot of you said, you know, play it up the line, which I like. Now, you, you know, Fred is in good position to be able to cover up for, you know, a passing shot attempt by Dan. A lot of you said take it in this corner. And I'm not so sure that Fred can efficiently play the shot over here and then move to slightly to the right of the center service line to get in position. If he can't do that, then, you know, this up the line pass – which doesn't take much from Dan, is going to be wide open. And then we had, of course, you know, drop shots cross court, uh, which I like. We had drop shots right here in front of, uh, in front of where Fred is, which, which I like too. Um, so, and then we had a couple of other, you guys said, just grip and rip this thing cross court topper. Man, how tough is this going to be to do that on a ball that is not going to get up, um, you know, uh, I respect the fact that some of you guys have got semi-western forehands where you can do that. Really tough from this part of the court with the ball staying down low geometrically to get this ball up and down and have it not sit up. Um, you know, I know I'm going against what some of you guys think you can do, but that's my opinion uh, on on what's reasonable here. Well, you know what, what What Fred ends up doing is he ends up going for this short little drop shot in here. And this is going to be a little anticlimactic because uh, he doesn't make it. The ball, you know, middle of the net. So, you know, I like, I like the shot choice. I just don't like the execution. So maybe what we do here is we go back a little bit and... Uh, you know, let's kind of pick apart the execution here. Um, I think the one thing that I would, if if this were me, uh, that, that I would want to do is, is I'd want to have my racket, let me get this back a little bit, I want to have my racket a little bit out of this position here, not quite so low. I don't think the ball is going to end up being this low in the bounce to where you need to prep it here. I would much rather prep it up higher uh, which would 
um, eliminate some of this at the last second kind of up and then down. Now, look, this may be the way that Fred plays the shot, and who are we to argue you know, with Fred the way he preps it? But um, look, worst case, he loses this one point and sets up for the future points where, you know, somewhere down the match, somewhere down the road in the match now, the same similar situation happens. He shows this same look and, uh, you know, what's he got? You know, he's got now he's got Danny thinking, well, he might try the drop shot again. He starts coming in and, uh, you know, Fred from right here uh, anticipates that and shoves this thing deep. So blah, blah, blah. Man, lots of lots of verbosity. I don't even know if that's a word uh, coming out of yours truly this morning. Right below the video, let me know what's on your mind. And as always, get up there and make today another great day.